Hey YouTube, so we are going to do the boyfriend tag, which we are calling the husband tag, since we are married. And Rocky here thinks he's going to win. Um, I don't know if there actually is a winner to this game. I'll find a way. got the questions off of Debt Fox's channel. Um, he seemed to have the most comprehensive list. So I will go ahead and post the questions along with my video also in case anyone else wants to do the boyfriend tag. Okay, uh, just just so I, I know, what is what are we doing? It's just a series of questions and we're supposed to answer them. Both of us answer them to see if we know this about the other person. Okay. Well, some of them, okay, some of them we can't both answer because unless one person answers, we can't really, the other person can't. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'll ask you, and some of them that can be answered by both of us will both answer. So, first question. Where did we meet? <laughs> he loves to tell the story. Um, online. We met online. We met online. That's, that's as far in as you want to go with it? Uh, you kids, you're going to play an asshole, so if I continue forward. <laughs> so we'll say that we met online for the first time. <laughs> what was our first date? Um, our first date was, uh, I don't know if it was a date, but I think the first time we actually did something together was me picking you up in the airport and I almost killed a person. Yes, I remember that. Rocky is a very skilled driver. <laughs> um, I actually would have said that our first date would have been when you took me out to dinner at Alfred Isle. Oh, okay. Because, well, the first, that was the first time I actually, because well, after I picked you up in the airport, we went out afterwards. Oh, that's true. We did go out to... So I went there. But is that a date? You just took me to food. Well, I guess that is kind of a date. Alright, so I win that one, right? No, I think I still win, because Alfred and I was like a swanky restaurant. That's, that's like date material. I picked up with blue hair. That's I did have blue hair when I came back from the airport from New Orleans. It happens sure. sometimes. Okay. Where was our first kiss and how was it? Well, it was amazing. It was at Faces. Yes. Actually, Faces. And then I think we continued kissing across the street at Hot Rods. Yeah, for like another hour. And then in front of your house. You know those sloppy drunk people at the bar that are just like face sucking and don't stop? That was us. That was us. Yeah. yeah, it was <laughs> awesome and tragic all the same time. <laughs> it's awesomely tragic. <laughs> Did you know that I was the one? I didn't believe in the one until we moved in together. Aww, that's so sweet. Um, I'm going to go say no on the grounds that referencing number one about how did we meet. <laughs> I was a man hater at the time, so it took me a while to come around. Yeah. So <laughs> first impression. You were an asshole. You were an asshole and I deleted you from my cell phone. That's that's my first impression of me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Man hater. So I hated everyone. <laughs> so, although he seemed totally nice. Even though I told him I was washing the hair, my hair for the rest of my life. Yep. Okay. When did you meet the family? I met your family. I want to say it was a holiday. Probably a holiday. That's usually when I go see my family. So it was. Even I don't really remember the first it, time. It, it was Thanksgiving. I think it was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving yeah. at your brother's. No, that is not true. You were there one day when we, my parents came and we were taking a look at the house while they were still building it. Oh, yeah. Remember? I do. That was, so I think that was the first time you met my family. That was. That's back when he was still just my friend or something because my parents I was were your roommate. Okay with the gayness. Right. Um, I lost something. When did I first meet your family? I met your family pretty quick, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember when the first time was. We met him at Caro's. Was it at Caro's? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably was. Rocky used to work at Carol's, used to manage it. So a lot of things happened to Carol's. Yes. Back sure. in the day. Yep. Do we have a tradition? We traditionally go to bed together, but we don't fall asleep together. Yes, that is true. I go to bed before Rocky. And then I'm always the one yelling at him, turn the TV down. Yep. Because I can't fall asleep with the TV and he needs to have it on. So we're constantly fighting about that. Yep. I win. No. 
what was our first road trip? <laughs> oh my god. I think our first road trip was to Los Angeles. Yeah, um, I, th I think our first road trip was Disney. I think Wasn't it was. It? I think when, we went, no, we went, no, we went to Gay Day at Disney, I think. You're right, Red Shirts. Yeah, we went to Gay Day at Disney. I think that was our first road trip. That's right, because we that was our first ever, like, uh, not staying in Sacramento. Yeah, also. Yeah, so I think that was our first road trip. Yep. Who said, I love you first? Me. And were we there? And where were we? I said, I love you first. And... He didn't say it back, so I got drunky, I got drunk, drunk sloppy mess, and did some stupid things that I was the asshole that night. So and then the next day I went to his house and I was like, very like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes. And that's what he did too, he actually laughed. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think the first time I said love you was Halloween, our anniversary. That was what we consider our official anniversary. No, like you didn't tell me. I don't even remember telling you love me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Um, yeah. I know yeah, Halloween. Man. We made it official on Halloween because that's when uh, I was being uh, molested by this really hot guy, and you're like, "That's mine." And I was like, "I don't see a ring on this finger." And I said, "He's my boyfriend." Yeah. Um. What do we argue about the most? Money. Yeah, money. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it was either that or my hand. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Think about Ty, right? I'm, I'm not getting into that right now. <laughs> Who wears the pants in the relationship? I like to think I do, but I like to think. But you probably think you do. So I think we're, I think we're fifty fifty though. I think we share the pants. They're big. Yeah, they are. They're very big pants. They are. For now, it's like a moo moo pant. Yeah. Okay. Um, if I'm sitting in front of the TV, what am I watching? Joshua Gates. <laughs> totally Joshua Gates. If you're sitting in front of the TV, you're probably watching something like RuPaul's Drag Race or Smash. Oh, Smash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What dressing do I get on my salad? Oh my God. Ranch. Yes. Blue cheese. For me. Um, what's the one food, what's the one food I don't like? Um, it's like a, a tie between seafood and mushrooms. Yeah, that's probably true. You, American cheese. I don't like plastic cheese. I love American cheese. It's, it's not plastic. It's, it's plastic. plastic. It's, it's super plastic. Heavy. It should not be able to stick to a wall. <sighs> Which one? What's, what's next? Um, we go out to eat. What do I get to drink? Sprite. Yep. And he will get usually Coke, Diet Coke, depending. Don't. Water with lemon. Water. Oh, okay. Yes, water with lemon. Almost all the time, right? Yeah, that's true. We don't drink much soda anymore. I'm not drinking any more soda. Water with lemon. Um, Come in. Whatever. What size shoe do I wear? Nine and a half. That's true. Um, shit, I'm not 100%. Is it 11? I was, I was close. I was zeroing in there. <laughs> zeroing in. Uh, <laughs> um, if I was collecting anything, what would it be? Bad gay movies. I don't collect them. I just watch them. <laughs> I don't buy them. How many? Do you, wait. How many do we have on our on our video drive that you've never watched again? Not that many. We've only like two or three. You know, there's a bunch on there. This guy will collect anything comic book related. Yes. And if you've ever been to our house, our wall is covered in comic book art. Yes. So, it is. and we have action figures up the wazoo. Mm. Although a lot of them slowly get given out to like nephews and nieces and stuff. Vinny. Yeah. Vinny. Okay. Um, what is my favorite type of sandwich? He used to love the Safeway um, pepper turkey with pepper jack cheese sandwich on rustic Italian. But they don't make rustic Italian. Yeah, so now he makes his own sandwiches. Yeah, so really like he, he likes the turkey, mesquite turkey, Oscar Mayer. Uh, but he's actually liking the Costco turkey now. Oh, Costco turkey is so much better. So, yeah, with plastic cheese. And you. I don't know, normally when I get a sandwich for you, like a Subway or something, I want the Italian. But, yeah, you've asked for that many times. 
I mean, you always ask for something different. I do. So, I don't think he has a favorite sandwich. I don't have a favorite sandwich. Well, I would say pie pastrami. Oh, yeah. Togo's. Yes. Oh, the best. Togo's for Togo's the is the best pastrami. Yes. Especially if you get the chipotle pastrami. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It's so good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> um, what would I eat every day if I could? Either hot fish brownie sundaes. <laughs> totally. <laughs> or cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake. <laughs> Banana cream cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory Evolve. That's where it's at. Mm -hmm. yeah, either of those two things. Um, for you. Shit, I don't know. I'm winning. You well, you mix it up a lot more than I do. I'm more a creature of habit than he is. Yeah. Shut up. So what what would you eat if you could eat everything? Watermelon. Oh yeah, watermelon. <laughs> With chili on. With pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. Yeah. Chili on it. I'm so Mexican. I'm so Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> What's my favorite cereal? Mm. I used to think it was Honey Crunches of O's, or Honey Nut Crunches of O's. That's all you used to buy. You can't deny you didn't used to buy that a lot. No, I used to buy something called Honey Nut Clusters, which I don't make anymore. No, no, no that's you right. close. Yeah. Um, but usually I just get Frosted Flakes. I don't eat cereal, really, but Frosted Flakes, if I eat it. I, this guy, like, never really eats cereal, so I don't think you even have a favorite. Did you have a favorite growing up? Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks. Oh, Apple Jacks are good. Mm -hmm. What is my favorite music? I see, you have a very eclectic, like, you have, like, country, and you have... Like Mumford and Sons, and you have like Limp Biscuit or Maroon Five moves like Gagger. Oh my God! Don't talk smack about this. Like um, yeah, you have a very eclectic. I do. I like everything. This guy right here, gay. Yeah, he wants gay music, <laughs> and he will listen to the same song but different remix all day long. And he will actually have a different remix to last him all day long. You can't say the same song, different remix, the because it's not the same song. song. It's a different song, same but it's a different song. medley. He picked me up from SFO once, and we drove home, we listened to the same song the entire time. Yes. What was it? Keep the fire burning. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh, that's that's just amazing. Mindless. Oh, so good. Oh, okay, anyway. My favorite sports team. Niners. Yes, even though I don't really care. Yes, yeah, Rocky hates sports, so I'm gonna say he has no favorites. Unless it's a halftime show with with um, with Beyonce. That's that's not a sport. <laughs> the Beyonce halftime show. Try telling is not her a sport. that before you try tell that in rehearsal. I will tell her that. <laughs> not a sport. Um, what is my eye color? Brown. Yeah, you too. Who is my best friend? You have you have a best friend for every. Every situation, like I think, I think you have, you have friends. like you have like your straight breast best friend. It's like it's like a three way tie. I think it's like I'm gonna offend so many people. Oh my god! Because his friends vary. I do. I have a lot of different. But friends. I will say, I think I think for his gay best friend, I think it's probably Nate. Yeah, I think Nate's Nate. Nate's right. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, your your best friend. I'm gonna say it's Tiani. I think she's um, she's she's r r right up there, but I think I've been through more with um, DJ and Jenny. Oh, DJ, yeah, I should DJ, DJ. And, D DJ and Jenny are like That's true. for my girl and boy, um, my girl being DJ, and my boy being Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Because Jenny is my man. Yes, she is. She's, she's my man. She is your man. Okay. Um, what is something that you do that I wish you didn't? <laughs> Rub my hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't argue with that. Uh, <laughs> probably for me, it's turn down the TV. <laughs> um, what is my heritage? Peruvian. Dad, Irish? You. Fail. So much fail. Mm. He's not German. Switzerland. Yeah. What is he? Oh, wait, yeah. No. Apologize. No, it's not. 
What, the, what is it? It's um, Norwegian and Swedish. If you don't... Okay, really? Yeah. Oh, see? This is just... These guys pull on my back. I'm sorry to offend my backs out there. My dad's found a border. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Good for you, Dad. Backstroke. That's right. Or else I wouldn't be here right now. And bake me a cake for my birthday. What kind do you make? Um, it would be chocolate with cream cheese frosting. That's true. It really doesn't matter what it is as long as it has cream cheese frosting. Yep. Um, for Rocky, I would say it's probably yellow cake. No, white cake, chocolate cake. Brown cake. What the hell is wrong with you? It would definitely have strawberries in it. How long did we, how long have we known each other? <laughs> I don't know. It's a blur now. <laughs> what would it be? Um, it would be uh, a German chocolate cake. Ah, uh, yes, German chocolate cake. That's good. You never buy German chocolate cake, though. Because you, yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. He doesn't. Um, did I play sports? You swam. I did, and you played football. Yeah. He was butch back in the day. Girl. Back in the 80s with his 80s haircut. He was butch. Mm -hmm. um, what could I spend hours doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is for we're going to keep it family, right? Yes. Okay, so there's that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is true. Okay, and next. <laughs> um, it would probably be... Uh, I'm going to say it's a toss-up between either reading or watching sci-fi shows. Yeah, that's true. I can do that. Yeah, I can bounce back and forth. Yeah. Rocky, um, definitely probably drawing mm -hmm. all day. He could draw all day. I could. Okay. Last one. Okay. What is one unique talent that I have? We're keeping a family still? Yes. Okay. Um... A unique talent you have would be to uh, fix everything. That's true. I am a total lesbian. You fix everything. And I mean anything from technology to a uh, staircase. You fix it. Um, Rocky. Wait, hold on. There's a train coming. Trains happen in our neighborhood. They, people can live. But um, these trains are assholes. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? You can tie a cherry stem with your tongue, can't you? Mm -hmm. You can tie a cherry stem with your tongue. I can't do that. I don't have the tongue dexterity to do that. Mm -hmm. That is a unique talent because not many people can do that. Awesome. All right, YouTube. That is the end of our boyfriend slash husband tag. Uh, feel free to also do it. Um, make a response video with your tag. And hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, say it. Love bubbles. Love bubbles, YouTube.